We have got some changes coming our way as the clouds uh, appear to be moving into the area, Joseph. Yeah, that onshore flow, it brings in the clouds, brings in a little bit of rain, cools us down a little bit. And uh, as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to see some significant changes as far as our temperatures go. And it's all because of the wind change. And we'll talk about that here in just one second. Satellite radar is showing some showers just to the north of us. Some snowfall, too, for the Cascades. That's the first step. As we head into tonight, we'll start noticing a little bit of rain here in the Willamette Valley as well. Extending up to the north right now, radar is picking up on some of that moisture. Now towards the Oregon coast, we've had rain through Astoria and some other locations through the coast today. And maybe even a little bit of rain into areas of the gorge. Uh, earlier today, but the clouds did break apart for a while. We had a brief little sunset there through areas of wine country for most though we had some clouds hanging around. Hourly precipitation planners we headed to tonight. Yeah, it's a low shot for some rain right now around Portland, but it does increase as we get into the late hours. And then by the time we head into the early morning hours tomorrow, do expect some rain there. We do have some measurable rain out there from Astoria down to Tillamook, but here in the valley, notice not much going on, at least for today, as far as measurable rain goes. 49 degrees come out of Lincoln City. There's been some rain. It's been overcast and it's been breezy at times, continuing as we head into tonight. Futurecast will show us some of those passing showers as we go into the overnight hours. Notice by about 1 a.m. there, we already have some snowfall for the Cascade. So that's going to begin tonight. Winter weather advisory in place. We keep that steady snowfall through the overnight hours, but then it becomes more uh, broken and uh, there'll be kind of passing snow showers, but those will be intense at times. So it's not just going to be a steady light snow. There's going to be some pockets that are pretty intense. That goes for our shower activity as well for our Sunday. There will be some broken areas there. It's not going to be a steady rain, but of course there'll be some moments where it's pretty rainy. Uh, we get into our Monday morning. Notice that there's still snow coming down for areas of the mountains. Snow to the east as well for central and eastern Oregon. Showers for the Oregon coast. Some snowfall for the coast range. Snow levels start to fall pretty quick as we head into our Monday 1,000 feet below. And it's possible that we even see a wintry mix here right around Portland. Mainly just for the hills for now, but we'll keep an eye. By the time it really gets cold enough down to the valley floor, I think we're going to lose most of that moisture. So that's Tuesday morning there. By Tuesday morning, we have that east flow coming in, so that's going to be the cold air from the Columbia Basin. That's going to be the wind shift. That's what's going to really bring in the cold winter air for us that's coming in from the northeast. Okay, as we head into Wednesday, very dry, very clear, cold mornings, cold afternoons. You're going to want to get that winter gear ready for at least Tuesday and Wednesday because temperatures going to be about 10 to 15 degrees below average. As far as the system that is moving through for tonight and through our Sunday into portions of our Monday, yeah, it's projecting about maybe about a half an inch plus here in the Willamette Valley. I think it's overplaying it a little bit, but we'll take anything that we can get because it's been a dry February. And that goes for the Oregon coast as well. And I want to show you where that cold air is coming in. That's coming in a loft. You can see this, all this right here. That's going to be, we'll just call it cold air, right? And that's going to be moving into the Columbia Basin as we head into our Monday. That's going to drop our temperatures. Another ridge starts to develop that should dry us up. Uh, but it's not going to warm up all that much as we go through this week. In fact, I'll show you the seven day forecast. 43 degrees on Monday, 46 tomorrow. By Monday night into Tuesday, we're down into the 20s. Afternoon highs in the 30s, kind of breezy on Tuesday, weighing on Wednesday. It's at 38 degrees. We warm up slightly Thursday and Friday, but it's going to be pretty cool out there this week. Got to add a jacket or two to our layers for sure. Two layers, yeah. <laughs> all right. When we come back,